Hello, how are you? And welcome to this week's vlog. My name's Emma, make sure you subscribe. I am uploading super Christmas videos every Sunday morning at seven o'clock. And also, I'm still quacking on with the lovely weekly vlogs. Um, it's cold today, guys. I'm very cold. I'm in the office, I've got the heating on, and I'm also rocking. Do you really remember this pinafore dress? I've had it for years. I put my pinafore on today, like a polo neck. Um, so this is old Primark, very old new look. It's got pockets. <laughs> Does anybody feel the need to tell people when they've got? It's got pockets. Um, so I'm in the office. The candle of choice I am smelling today is frosty gingerbread. Oh, look at that light. It's frosty gingerbread. And it's very pleasant. Stephen actually bought me loads of candles on last Christmas day. And then you're like, it's kind of Christmas is over. So I've kept them for the year and I'm bringing them out again. So frosted gingerbread is nice. So we're in the office. It's Monday morning. I am cracking on with some mummin. So mummin is all the admin that you have to do when you're a mum. Because if you've got mums, leave in the comments that you were shocked about the admin that you have to do and if you've not got children and plan to have some at some point in the future welcome to the world of mum men there's so much to do my kids do lots of different classes so they do singing and dancing singing dancing swimming beavers so I have to make sure I pay for them every month and then they have like trips at schools I've, I need to make a note they've both got a trip to the Panto, right, um, Panto, <laughs> need to pay that. I want you to leave me in the comments um, kind of how you deal with the mum in. Do you have like things set up on your phone? Like my children have to have one pound 50 each week because they have toast money. Do you have it set up on your phone? Do you have it on a calendar? Do you have it in a diary? Do you have it on a wall planner? I need your help with mum in please so my 2020 can be organized and then i can do like a nice organization video so talking of money 2020 is just around the corner kind of new year fresh start you might be thinking about the goals you want to achieve in 2020 what you want to get up to Stephen is thinking about a new car and i have been working with experian which offers free credit score checks so that is something that we have been looking at because it's good to know your credit score if you don't know what a credit score is it's a set of numbers that lenders look at when they're considering lending you money so not necessarily for credit cards it could be for mortgages it could be for you know some bills it could be for mobile phones the last time I had my credit score checked was when we went to get a house and it's scary not knowing what your credit score is and you're like am I gonna pass am I gonna pass and you just think ah. but Experian makes it really really easy and makes it like the least scariest thing you simply just go onto the website pop in all your details and it will give you a number and then it will also offer you personal advice if you kind of want to change that number and it's just really really good you might not be thinking about getting a house or a car or a big purchase or a new contract out but maybe in a few years you want to get on the property ladder and it's just kind of good to have this information i think the phrase is forewarned is forearmed or is it forearmed is forewarned let me know in the comments you know what i mean like it's good to have the information so you can go into your purchase knowing you know what your credit score is oh that's me whatsapp oh so popular i'm not popular at all it was like from somebody just saying thank you i thought i'd have like like a lovely maybe a gif of beyonce or something but no yeah so experience is free it's really simple to use i will leave a link below in the description box that will enable you to go and check your credit score there's this myth there's this kind of a rumor rumor has it there's a rumor that says um if you check your credit score that it affects your credit score but this is just not true at all you can go and check your credit score and it's not going to affect your credit score at all it's good to go on it's good to find out um i've done mine and stephen is going to do his and will be interesting to see where we both we both stand in that little uh, 
scenario. Also, if your credit score is not perhaps as great as you thought it was, Experian will be able to offer you, you know, tips on how to get that number higher. Um, so it's really, really helpful for preparing you for the future, really. But yeah, 2020, we're not going to move house because I like my house. We've only been here a couple of years and we did have a little look at maybe moving somewhere, but I just love it. So we're not going to move house, but I think that a new car might be on the budget, which is really good to check with experience so we know what's going on with the credit score. And also, if you have followed my vlogs, you will know that we're going to kind of put some big wardrobes up in Erin room. And also, I did think about, you know, my cupboard under the stairs, I thought about maybe gutting that. And do you think it exists in the world where you can get people to put shelves and things in? Does that, does that make sense? Let me know. If you see something on Pinterest or anything, just tag me in or Instagram me or direct message me so I can see these um magical cupboards i'd really like one of those anyway if you are looking to check your credit score don't forget to look at the link in the description as i say it's really easy it's not scary at all it does not affect your credit rating and it's just really good to have a good grip on your finances and if you want me to do a video in 2020 about finances how Stephen and i manage ours we have separate bank accounts, just to tell it, you know, um, which is probably is a bit unusual maybe for a married couple, I don't know. Let me know in the comments and that might be something I can do in the new year if we're kind of looking at inspiration to, to work out how you can sort out your finances. Right, I'm going to crack on with more mumnin, booking panto tickets, paying for classes, and I need to get some change so I can have their money ready for toast money. Right, I'll see you in a bit. Hello, it's Thursday. Being a little bit quiet. Um, the kids just getting ready for school. Lucy had an operation yesterday. The cone of shame. And before you leave loads of comments, because I had it on my Instagram, um, she has to have this cone for a couple of days. We did inquire about the inflatable one and also like the coat thing. But the vet said, no, she has to have this for a few days. So she's going for a checkup on Saturday. So I'll ask on Saturday if we can get her something else. Um, but to be fair, she's okay. So she had the lump removed. Sadly, they did find some other lumps, which they've sent off for biopsies, um, which is a bit sad. And also they found um, some sort of blood clotting issue. So she i've put her in the front room she's got a little blanket on her um we've got a puppy pad down here and we've also got a little bed over there um she's not really supposed to get down like kind of jump down or jump up stuff but then i don't really know how to stop her doing that i think if i put her on the floor she might try and jump up on the couch so i don't really know what to do so i'm just going to leave her here and um, i'm going out for a few hours I asked the vet, I said, oh, she's right in there. She was like, yeah, 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 she'll be fine. She's like, don't spoil her too much. Because obviously me and Steve are like, oh, baby. But she's had painkillers, she's had antibiotics. Um, she's just really, 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 really grumpy. So <laughs> I'm going to go out today um, with some friends. I'm going out with um, Crispy S'mores, who are Disney vloggers. Um, if you've watched my Disney Paris vlogs, they were in those. It's been in a couple of those, actually. And I'm also um, hopefully having lunch with Adam Hatton. He's coming as well, who's also another Disney vlogger. And we're just having a little day around Birmingham. It's been a rubbish couple of... Well, it's been a rubbish week with the guinea pig and the dog and stuff. Um, she's going to sleep now. So it's nice to go out, have a little look around the Christmas market, um, pop into Primark and have a little, little look around the Disney stuff for there. Um, so I will bring you along with me for the ride. So um, I'm just going to leave a Lucy, but I'll see you in a bit. Before I meet the gang, I've popped into Primark and in the one in Birmingham town, and they've got like a big Christmas like gift thing at the front. So I thought I'd show you some of the stuff they've got. They've got like Disney gift in here. I've not seen this before. Which is a cute little stationery set. Um, if you saw my video a few weeks ago. That was in the giveaway. Oh, a little wireless speaker. I've not seen that before. They've got like a big Harry Potter section um, for you Harry Potter fans. I have a little Christmas gift. Oh, maybe I should get my sister one of these. She flipping loves loves the Potter. What else have they got? They've got a lot of Frozen stuff over here. 
they have got a lot of frozen stuff but if you watch my works video I don't think we need any more frozen stuff in the house however my kids would love to make slime it's quite a few good like little stocking fillers oh that looks good I love a little board game what else have they got more frozen bits little PlayStation bits um, oh I've not seen this is all like very cute like mugs this is a colleague announcement and all departments colleague announcements are going to kicking off <laughs> that's all department six colleagues some phone cases these are good for two quid there's a little stocking filler they're really good I like those a lot where, what one's E? Um, okay where E? where are you? and notepads my sister would love that as well can't find E E's always a popular one um, what else? these are cute as well little luggage tags these are really nice for isn't that E on there either? oh E navy blue these are really good um, let's go and have a little look see at the pyjamas these pyjamas are brilliant we've got the boss clearly me we've got some little slippers which I love because Erin's can wear adult sizes now she could get some of those as well we've also got the naughty one and there's another one around here the cheeky one oh no naughty one cheeky one Neither of mine are naughty, they're both to have to have cheeky ones. We need one that says the lovely one. Oh, these little mugs and socks are cute. You know I love me a mug. I like those a lot. I like um, the woody one. And then we've got Pop Funkos. Now, I'm not a Pop Funko person. Let me know in the comments if you are. I'm not sure what I would do with them. We've got a lot of frozen ones. And, that, and Harry Potter ones. Oh, Primark exclusives of Elsa. How about that young Arna young Elsa? Very cute. A lot of lovely stocking fillers. I like these eye masks for £2. Well, that's quite a weighty thing, actually, for two quid. Brushes. Oh, my two love a hand sanitizer. So that might be quite a nice little... How much are they? £2? Not too bad. Oh, look at that Christmas bath. Oh my God, they would love that. Bath fizzers. Little, what's that, like a perfume? Little mirrors. They've got a lot, it's lovely. Lovely stuff. They haven't got loads of Disney Christmas jumpers, but they have got this mini one. Let me know if they've got more where you are. But I am a, on a Christmas jumper ban, because I have got 10, I think. And I'm, I bought one more matching one for me and the kids. Ethan wanted that. He loves the Christmas elf. Make sure you tag me in any elf things you do on Instagram so I can see them for ideas. Lots of cute Christmas jumpers. Little festive dresses. Adorable. Primark have got some great party dresses at the moment. Um, let me know if you want me to do like a party dress like kind of lookbook or try on. Um, I really like this one over here, but I thought it might show me belly off. Um, but I really like that. It's beautiful, a little bit of sequins. Also, I love these headphones, but I never look very good in them. I might try one on in a bit. My sister looks great in them. Louise looks great in them as well, not for me. Maybe I haven't got the confidence to pull them off. Look at them. I literally break both legs wearing them. Now, this little red one is a Luke. I don't think I can carry that off. I think Stephen would think I'd gone full Helena Bonacarta there. And let me know if you watched The Crown and what you thought of it. I loved it, but I didn't love it as much as I loved the earlier episodes. Hugh Grant doing this dance in Love Actually is one of my favourite things. If you've not seen Love Actually, do it immediately. Like, stop this video and go and watch it. Look, this t-shirt is amazing. It's a pyjama bottom. Um, not pyjama, a pyjama top. And they've got it in an extra large for the top, but they haven't got any extra large bottoms. Do you think people like oversize their bottoms? If they're a large, they get an extra large bottom, if that makes sense. I've said the word bottom quite a lot there. Take a shot every time I say bottom. Bottom, bottom, bottom. <gasps> da -da -da! 
We're, da -da -da! we're reunited. <laughs> just three adults. Jumping around Primark on a Thursday. But we're very excited. We're going to go to the private Primark half. I've never been there before. I've told this them that you, you, you're going to be in this so they know who you are. I don't need to introduce you. But um, they've changed the... Um, go and stand pose. Do a pose. I'll, so I'll surprise them. Right, Steffi and Dave are going to do a pose. And then... <gasps> da -da -da! Look at that! They've changed it so it's a season's greeting. Oh, um, oh, it's so good. Season's greetings, everybody. And we're going to go into the Primark cafe and have a little look at the snackage. Oh, yeah, but it's brilliant. Cool. Yeah, there's quite a few Instagram opportunities in the cafe as well. Ooh. Oh, look at their little happy Christmas faces. So I've got my lovely breakfast. I've got for the Mickey waffles, no syrup. We need to a petition. <laughs> it's just so dry. And then we were just querying over on um, Seth and Dave's vlog. You'll have to go and watch that. What what the hell fruit is this shriveled up? What is it? Was it a grape? A grape. A grape isn't a forest fruit, is it? A cherry. A cherry is a forest. Is a cherry? Do you get it? Maybe. <laughs> it's it's a forest. Do you hang out in the forest? Properly? I mean, we I don't mean, have many cherry know? forests in Birmingham. <laughs> to be on, I'll try it and uh, get back to you. <laughs> I would say if you're coming to look for Christmas jumpers, um, the men's ones are so much better at Primark. Look at this. How cool is this? Steffi and Dave have bought matching ones, but I know if I gave that to Stephen, he'd be like, thanks, and they never wear it. But I really like that one. That's much better than the Minnie Mouse one. They've got loads of good ones. They've got a lot of, um, my friend Dave would love that. Merry Christmas, you filthy animal. Name the film, people. I know you all know it. We've got gremlins i was old enough to remember them the first time around so we're in the primark we're in the primark and kind of in between the two floors is this it's my, look at your face you're just staring. my radar downstairs it's, i went <laughs> yeah we were down like there and Steffi went what's that look a little photo off i wonder if they're gonna have mr father mr father christmas do you call him santa claus or father christmas father christmas yeah I do say santa yeah. yeah it's hotly debated in the comments um, in a, a vlog, I think, or a haul. I say Father Christmas, but the kids say Santa. Yeah, it was probably yeah, Father say Christmas. It. Yeah, maybe he's going to be here, I don't know. But it's very cute. Adam's here now. He can't, he can't speak, he's got some nuts in his mouth. I'm about to show you nuts. I am family friendly, I just want to assert that. I'm not. Um, so he's bought some oh. cinnamon nuts, I've never had a cinnamon oh, nut. No. Are we ready? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Just a nut, isn't it? <laughs> There's sugar on it. It's a sugary nut. Nice. We're going back to Primark. So we're going to be spending hour three in the world's biggest Primark. more money. Um, so that's exciting. If you come to Birmingham, the Christmas market's very nice. It's a bit cold. I've got 15 minutes and I have to go and get the children. Whew. I'm back home. Came in. Lucy was very happy to see us. She kind of like, excuse me, scuttled over. Hand breathe. And then I let her into the garden, but her favorite thing in the garden is just to chase the dog next door, up and down and up and down and up and down. So she started to do that and then I started to panic because she's not supposed to run or be energetic. So I was like, please could you take your dog in? In a very like, very like posh voice, please. So we got her in and she was like shaking. Because obviously, I don't know if any of you have ever had an operation out there. I've had two spinal surgeries and I've had two C-sections. And there comes a time, whenever you've had an operation, you push yourself too far and you regret it. I remember having my first C-section, TMI, I apologise, having my first C-section with Erin and kind of getting up, because you spend about 24 hours in bed while the anaesthetic wears off, getting up going to the shower. That was fine, scootled along to the shower. Then I put the shampoo, or maybe somebody escorted me in and put the shampoo on the floor. And then when I went to pick the shampoo up, I thought that my whole insides were gonna fall out of my stomach. So Lucy just had that moment then. So I can fully appreciate the pain. So she came in and she was like, she was obviously like, oh my God, what have I done? So we wrapped her up in the blanket and I gave her um, some ham and wrapped some painkillers in. So she's had a couple of painkillers now, so she should be okay. So she had a 
you can give her pain for killers three times a day. She had some this morning. I've just given her some now and we'll give her some before bed. Then she goes back to the vets tomorrow for a checkup. But anyway, it was lovely seeing Steffi and Dave and it was also fab catching up with Adam. And we had such a nice time. It's lovely going around your city and being a tourist and kind of looking it through other people's eyes. I really, really, really enjoyed it. And also the Primark had so much more, excuse me, I sort my bra right, had so much more stuff in than, um, than previous. I've like got loads of different bits and pieces in. So I will show you some of the stuff now. Nannies and granddads, please turn off because there are some spoilers in here. Thank you very much. Right, so first of all, I got a little Gnome and I want us all to celebrate. I'm actually going to put you, oh, oh my gosh, you nearly lost a leg. I'm actually going to put you here. There we go. I look, I get a little Gnome and it's my first ever girl Gnome. It's my first ever little girl Gnome. So she will be going downstairs. Maybe she'll hang out with the boy Gnomes. Maybe she'll just sit in the kitchen ruling the roost. But I got her. She was nine pound, which is probably very. Oh my god! <laughs> you are going to howl with laughter. So it says nine pound, but if you look, they've just taken a six pound thing and turned it upside down to make it a nine pound thing. But let's not worry about that. I got it from the German market, so I was very excited. I also we know. But I like to get the boys in my life, the men in my life, um, comedy socks. So I got Grandad Rodge some Simpsons socks, which would be really good for Christmas. And I got um, Stephen. The kids have just said these aren't comedy enough. But I got him some um, Mickey Mouse socks. So, hey, also, sorry, I got a little bit of a, little bit of a, a little bit of a funny nose. Um, for my well for Christmas day for like my mum I wish I got one for my mother-in-law actually I got Pong Seco so it's like um 12 cups and three balls and you can play um like beer pong but with Prosecco for four pound I thought that was really fun that'd be a really fun game to play when the kids have gone to bed I picked up for me and my nanny Joyce oh dear well, the labels have all come off them um because nanny joyce is in the dementia home as we know and she likes some cozy socks so i picked her some socks and also i got myself a pack because there's nothing that says a sexy woman in her 40s and going to bed with a pair of bed socks so i got me some of them i got um a bath bomb treat myself to a full price bath bomb which if you know me unheard of and um, it's like <coughs> sometimes when you breathe in a bath bomb it's getting known full of dust but i will say what i like about bath bombs at the moment they seem to have little gift bags that's good isn't it for when you're gifting people and then finally i just got myself i think i videoed that i wanted this t-shirt so i got this t-shirt that says Happy Christmas. And then I bought this set of pyjamas and I thought that this t-shirt could easily go with these bottoms. So I didn't need to worry about the bottoms. Um, I'm gonna put these on now. Oh, and also the other day, so I, when I was in um, Copenhagen, I read The Tattooist of Auschwitz and I loved it and I wanted the next book, which is Silka's Journey. And I ordered it off Amazon and Amazon went, bizarre it was supposed to prime never came and they were like in the end they just sent message going yeah it's lost so it ain't never come in so i got my money back and i bought one from tesco's which i think actually is a lot was a lot cheaper so my plan is tonight when stephen gets back is to take my bath bomb and take my book and go and have a bath a lovely day with lovely friends i feel so relieved that the dog's okay so um I will come back to you uh, eh, soon. Yeah. Hiya! I've just come back from Frozen Tube and no spoilers. It was phenomenal. I went with um, my friend Jocelyn, her name just escaped me, and her children, Alex and Eliza, who uh, my children are very good friends with. It was really lovely. And whilst I was gone, Stephen 
put up the little white Christmas tree we have in the bedroom of the Disney Star Farm. I'm going to have to replace this tree next year. It is crap. It's really crap. I didn't realise how rubbish it was. I'm going to hopefully make something out of it. I remember last year when I did my Disney tree, I got all stressed because I think it's got to be perfect like Pinterest. It doesn't have to be perfect like Pinterest, does it? Because it's just my own house. Um, so I'll show you some of the stuff. I'm just going to go for red, black and silver and then di special Disney memories. Hang on two seconds because otherwise... Uh, oh, 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 last year I remember it was a bit crap. So I'm going to go for red, black and silver. Um, so here's red tinsel, silver tinsel. We've got black. Um, I love that so much. That's going to go above the bed. Uh, and then, where am I like? It's not helpful because you're just not looking at anything. And then I've got my special. So we've got the little Simpsons ones, and Primark ones, and then of course I've mentioned on here on Instagram, I've mentioned we have ones which I can't get my hands at the moment, but I'll show you a onesie buy in the parks. So, I've got a little stitch. So, like at the moment, we've got a new Asda Juve on. Pillows are going a bit weird there. Those pillows don't match at all. I mean, there is some pink in it. I'll have a think about that. And then I'm going to replace those with some Disney knickknacks. So, there we go. All I can see is into the unknown. Into the unknown. So I'm going to do the tree um, whilst I'm watching Shane Dawson's last part. The kids are downstairs watching I'm a Celeb. They're absolutely loving it. I'm, I'm having a weird thing because I'm looking in the mirror at me there and I'm looking here as well. This camera, guys, is absolutely terrible. I need to do something about it. It's brand new, top of the range, worst focus there we go the worst focus ever so i'm going to do the tree and show it you um i'm not going to stress myself out by filming the process because well you know let's see what it looks like i've put the red one and black and the white ones from uh, primark i am a very oh it's not looking quite as good on here i'm very impressed actually with this little set for how much is it 12 pound 25 decorations doesn't look quite as good on camera um but i've still got all of these i don't think i'll be using all of them um but i'll be using a lot of them like last year i put these ones on as well but i think um i'm not going to use those ones maybe if the kids have a little one in their room i'm just going to put all these little ones on instead so i'll put those on and then come back to you Yay! Finished! I'll show you the lights are off as well. So we have red and white and we've got some sums, we've got decorations. I've not put too many of the Primark decorations because they're really heavy. We've got some from Paris, we've got some from Florida. Um, the, kids are, the kids are like living their best lives downstairs. This is our most recent one from Walt Disney World. This is where you can go just sit down. <laughs> We've, I've added this little um, wreath, which is one of my favourite things I've bought from Primark. And then a little Primark sign. I'd quite like to have something here as well. And then over here, under the unknown, got my little 32 days to go sign that was from Disneyland Paris. And I'll be honest, I bought it and I think it was an absolute rip off. And if I could go back in time, I would, but I can't. It's, it's just like a sticker stuck on a bit of wood. It's crap. So rubbish. And then I've got uh, Mickey and Minnie sitting up here, just chilling out, Max and relaxing, all cool. Name the song in the comments. Then I've got a little Disney candle here. And that's it, really. If I make any other changes, I'll show you. Now you're just being wafted around a room in an energetic fashion. <sighs> so there we go. Oh, lovely. Oh, should I said I was going to show you when the lights were off, didn't I? Oh, hang on. That's possibly. Oh, oh come on. Oh, yeah. 
you get you get the joint. You get the joint. You get the gist. And of course, there's forever washing on the side that needs to be put away. But yeah. It's actually quite a nice soothing thing to sleep next to, to be honest. I really like it. Um, and the duvet. And then I don't know what I'm going to do at the cushions. I'll have a think. But it's a long way before Christmas, so I'll let you know what we do. And I'm sure you shan't sleep <laughs> until I tell you. Literally. The kids have come back from seeing their friends and they're so over the top. They've gone bananas. Stephen was by himself for five hours whilst I took him to the cinema, which is an inordinate amount of time to be out for the cinema, but we went for lunch afterwards. And I know he gets really lonely. Sorry if I've said this. Or did I just say this? I don't know. He gets really lonely and bored. So for the first hour when he's by himself, he's like, yeah, this is cool. And then hour two, he's like, and by the time we came back, he was like, <laughs> Stephen told the kids off and now they're just laughing. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, guys, keep it down, please. Um, I better go down and rescue Stephen. He has, I'm sorry if I've just literally said this story and you're hearing it twice in three minutes. He um, was on his own today while I was at the cinema. So he... Have I literally just said this? Do you know what? I'm going to stop it because I think I just repeated myself. Um, this week has been very hectic. Lucy's feeling a lot better. She had her post-op check. She got another one and the, the vet said she was perfect. But I do think I'm repeating myself. Hopefully next week. Now we're over. And Lucy's on the road to recovery. Um, it's actually my birthday weekend next weekend. So, um... Let me know if you want me to do what I got for my birthday. I always find what I've got for my birthday is interesting because it shows you the kind of stuff that people really like that their family and friends buy them. I'm gonna have to go because it's mayhem downstairs. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you've enjoyed it. High five if you wanna subscribe. I'll leave um, Crispy Smalls and Adam Hatton's videos below and any other information that you need to know. I've gotta go and be a mom. Bye guys.